Welcome to beautiful Des Moines, Iowa. We are at the Lauritsen Skate Park to give you a little sneak preview of what this place is really like. 88,000 square feet of sprawling concrete, a community hub centered on the Riverwalk to connect different parts of the city. This place is absolutely amazing and we're gonna to talk to a couple of the stakeholders who help make it happen. Between the co-chairs, we had more than 100 meetings. Once you kind of explain the vision, but also explain what this is going to bring to the community, um, you start getting more yeses at that point. If you don't have this, you're, you're going to have some of the problems that have been historically associated with uh, kids trying to find a place to skate. If you want to build a skate park, always be talking about the need for it and find the right people. This is gigantic. I mean, this has really excited Des Moines. There's a lot of public art in Des Moines. Um, there's a very vibrant arts community. And so whenever we build a new community project, um, there's always an art element. The city sort of realizing that they have a problem. You know, skaters are all downtown. There's no place to go. Um, there used to be a law that if you were skating downtown, um, if you, got, you would get a ticket. If you got three tickets, they would literally arrest you. And about the same time, there was this church group um, called Amos. They did a citywide survey and were shocked to find out that the number one item that popped up on the list was skate park. And so they went to work. They got a group of young skaters together. They started organizing, they went and talked to the city. Well, <laughs> considering that it took almost 18 years, there were times where we thought it was dead. I mean, the, those, those kids were persistent and Amos as an organization really stuck with it. Why don't we have a skate park? And I looked and I was like, yeah, I don't know. Why don't we do, why don't we do that? They said, why can't we have that in Des Moines? And I said, well, we can, but we'll have to work for it. These kids are gonna be coming out of here crazy good. Design something for us that we're going to want to skate. This is the result. To have a public skate park like this in a city like Des Moines, it transforms the entire character of the city. It's a spectator sport and with this place, with the grassy knolls and the, and the backdrop with the river, it's just a great place to come and relax in the afternoon and watch somebody skate. I think to be able to incorporate so many different aspects of an open space from public art to just access for all levels. I think most skate parks offer a lot more to a community than most communities realize. The whole community benefits, whether it's businesses or just people who have nothing to do with skating that want to go to the skate park and hang out and watch um, to keep the youth busy and activated. It's a fabulous location and, and even coming in from the airport, the art and the uh, landscaping and everything that this city has in the, the river down here. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So for the Dutour to you know, come from California and, and move it to here and have this state welcoming you know, everybody from around the world, it's a tribute to the state of Iowa and the city of Des Moines to pull this off because we really do need it for the Olympic Games. my safe place and anytime I had things going on this was really the only place that I'd be able to like be me officially so being able to have a skate park even just nearby 20-30 minutes is such a game changer. Where I'm from in Austria the parks are always next to the cemetery whereas I think it's really awesome that they like put it in the middle so it's like all right yeah skateboarding is a part of our culture it's a part of our society and we acknowledge that and we're happy about it. I wish I had one like that back home one of the best skate parks I've ever seen or been to. Sectioning out like smaller stuff so that as a beginner you can come here and feel safe. I think the skate park's amazing. I mean 
mean, obviously it's big enough for everybody to enjoy. For Des Moines, it's gonna raise some amazing skateboards. I mean, and, that, and that's the goal, you know, is a place, a safe environment where kids can skate for 12 hours a day and come here. Skate parks are so important for the community, and it's just because it's something positive that, that kids can do growing up. I mean, and, and that's the biggest thing, right, is that skateboarding teaches you persistence, it teaches you confidence, it gives you confidence, it teaches you so many things, so many life lessons as a kid, and it's so important for communities that skateboards like this. As a public skate park, Iowa is lucky. Right? The city of Des Moines did it right. Uh, they put it downtown on the river. It's, it's a showcase. It's one of the most beautiful skate parks I've ever seen. What, what a skate park does for a community, it gives them a place to go, a place to ride, a place to go and express themselves and discover who they are. These facilities are not just skate parks anymore. They're all real yeah. parks. So we have a, have a massive facility that paid hundreds of riders now. Iowa is about to produce some pretty gnarly skaters, is all I can say. <laughs> from the Midwest, you know, we don't get uh, this caliber of skate park around here. And so it's amazing. Um, it's actually really incredible to see the largest skate park in the U.S. be in Des Moines, Iowa. You know, I went to a skate park when I was 10 years old and fell in love with skating and I have never looked back. Having a skate park, especially this size, and it's just going to bring so much more attention to the city, which is going to make skateboarding more a part of the city. Especially here in Des Moines, the skate community is actually like super tight and like one of the most underlooked ones in my opinion. The first day it opens, Zion Wright showed up and just like started 540 in. Like I've never seen a 540 in person. I was yeah. speechless. Yeah. Like, we That's used to like, skate around downtown and we used to get kicked out as kids and ours get chased by the police. And now we can come here and skate and not have to worry about that. The skate park's crazy because it's massive. I don't want to say it's the best park I've ever skated, but it's the best park I've ever skated. To have a massive park like this and then leave it for the kids and for everyone of Iowa to come skate is absolutely incredible. This whole park, this giant, uh, glorious park, a lot of things to skate. So far, I really love it. I really like the cement. It's a little grippy on the bottom, which I really love. It's great for a wheelchair, and it's so nice and smooth. Thank you to all the people who supported this. Uh, you know, I think it's it kind of rests on our shoulders to make sure that they've got a uh, quality spot, which this clearly is, and a, and a safe place. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's good for the future. There was a kind of a dogged persistence that I noticed in skaters <laughs> trying to land, you know, whatever it is they were trying to learn. And I would say in terms of advocacy, it's the same thing. The mayor's original advice, don't give up, really held true that we knew we had to stick with it. We didn't give up, we weren't going to go away, and we just stuck with it, even though we never would have guessed it would take 17 years. 11, 12 years ago, Mark Waters sent us a book from the Skate Park Project. That finally initial conversation is what got the ball really, really rolling. And I'd say thank you to the Skate Park Project um, for being so helpful, just with the information. I just knew that if I had a question that I thought they could answer, I could, I'd reach out and I'd get an answer, or at least go to this direction. You know, it was really nice just knowing that there was that resource available to us. Sorry, the kid just ate. You okay? We're gonna use that one. <laughs>